It's been a very profitable day. I mean, obviously, I came here for the for the event that Brendan Batson was was organising with the the new coaches bursary there for the black and ethnic minorities group. That was a, the main reason for coming. Well, first of all, it's nice to be here, of course, and good luck with it all. And uh, let's hope I see a few of you in league football or Premier League football. Uh, during the rest of my lifetime, so you better get cracking. <laughs> then, of course, I was able to speak to the under-17s who were preparing for a game here. I said that I hope they're going to be coming here a lot, because if they're with the England team from under-17 through under-21 up to the first national team, they're going to be spending a lot of time here at St George's Park. And I just made it clear, of course, that they're, they're in a very privileged position at the moment, but they shouldn't believe that they've actually arrived yet because uh, you know if you're an elite player at under 17 there's still a lot of hard work before you can consider yourself an elite player at under 25 and a, a full international. <laughs> and I've had some quite important meetings with other people as well as a, another tour of the building. It's my second tour of the building but the last one was three months ago and it's amazing how things have even pushed on since then. This will be the main first team dressing room. Nice, that's yeah, big enough. Very, very big. The walk through ice bath. That's very good. good. Yeah, walk through ice bath. And it's really good to see it as a, a fantastic football venue for both coaching and, and, and football practice. Creating it, the culture of St George's Park. I don't think that we should, we should uh, just associate St George's Park with a place where the national teams go to train for one or two days before matches. It's much more important than that. It plays a much more important part in the FA thinking for the future and we hope that a lot of players and coaches are going to be formed here and we hope also that the facilities which are you know absolutely second to none are going to be used by a lot more people than just just the, the, the England teams that happen to be fortunate enough to work here. <laughs>